Uh, what's your name? Um, my name is Margot Beats. Okay, Margot Beats. So, uh, what is this place called? This is called Abbott's Hospital. Okay, what is this idea actually? I heard this uh, established like 500 years ago. No, 400 years. 400 years, 400 years. okay. In 1619 it was started. And 1622 the first people moved in. Well, what sort of people actually allowed to apply for to live in one of those houses? Well, in those days there were bed sitters and the, these four windows you can see here. Um, there used to, used to be one room, a bed sitter. And in the 80s, 1980s, you couldn't have just a bed sitter. You had to have a definite apartment which was a living room, a kitchen, bathroom and a bedroom. Oh. So as there was ground at the bottom there, they built flats for single people down there. And the single people that were living here in bed sitters were housed down there. Uh, it was built by George Abbott who was a Guilford and born in Guildford, Guildford. He must have been born in 15 something or other. Okay. Uh, the idea was actually to build a houses for people, poor people, poor elderly, people. pensioners, yes. poor people. Well, you didn't have a Retire. In those yeah, days. retires. <laughs> yeah, the right word. Uh, <laughs> and well, there was uh, destitute yeah. in those days. Yeah. Uh, and the hospital in. George Abbott's day was a, a place, place of shelter. Mm. And it is still used for the purpose for which it was built, which is sheltered accommodation. Mm. Um, you've got to be born in Guildford. Ah, uh, only in Guildford? Um, or lived in Guildford for 20 years before you can apply for one of the. Okay. Uh, when you apply, was how many years before then? It probably is a long list, probably. Well, I, I'm not sure. I don't know whether they have a list now, but it took me about three years to get in. Three years? Mm. Of course, it's, you've got to wait for somebody to die <laughs> or move out into a, show, uh, into a nursing home before a, a unit becomes Ah, vacant. OK. So, so not uh, everybody why, can play. So that's why, uh, <laughs> OK. And you're happy here? Oh yes, yes. I mean, what could be more central mm. and convenient? You've got your shops on the doorstep. Yeah, nice. And you've got also activities here or something like a club? Uh, well... Or they, just in the city everybody do what you want? They do have a Scrabble club that meets on a Monday afternoon. And we have an exercise class that meets on a Thursday afternoon. And who pay for all of this? The council? No, because we live here, you, you can go to the Scrabble. Right. And, uh, because you live here, you can go to the exercise. I think somebody does pay for it, you know, as a gift. Uh, because we have a professional that comes. He's a sports therapist. Mm. He's very good. And he won't let us do anything too strenuous. <laughs> so that helps out. Um, the door well, in the corner there is the chapel. Ah, really? Well, of course, it was an Archbishop of Canterbury. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't know. I'm from um, London, so. And, <laughs> okay. um, My first time in Guildford, actually. And yeah. um, yeah. when it was first built, they had to go to a service three times a day. Ah, wow. We only go twice a week and it's only a quarter of an hour. Um, it and you must do it, so? Well, one, I would say, if you have the advantage of living here, you should go yeah. out of common decency. But some of them don't. Anyway, this lovely, um, they're painted glass, not stained glass windows there, but you don't see it because, of course, mm. 
the entrance is in the corner and the chapel goes that way, it, it, or it continues that way. Um, so where is your flat? Oh, I'm down below because I'm on my own. Uh, they, they, ch they changed four bed sitters into a two bedroom house and you've got to be um, married to have a house. And the single people live on, in the bottom there, uh, which was built in sympathy in the 1980s. Uh, what else can I tell you? That, that bell... Uh, you got also cleaner and, st and it, stuff like it, that? It was... Got any assistance? It was refurbished. Um, and when there's a photograph over there, and it looks terribly miserable. Of those actors? Down below. Ah, uh, this one? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, they took it down and refurbished it. And that's what it came out. Okay. So you got also help. Why it's called hospital? Well, the hospital in, in the 17th century was a place of shelter. Ah, so that's why it's called hospital. But you don't get any therapy things here. No, no. All oh, right. It's not medical at all. I think that's about all I can tell you. Okay, so how is your neighbours? You like your neighbours? Oh, well, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> like normal. Um, there's 20 units, so I think there's about 26 people live here. Mm. Okay, so if I offer you now a flat in London, you will move? No. No? Definitely. You like Guildford? Why are you like, are you born in Guildford? Oh no, I was born up north in Cumberland. Oh, okay. So what uh, brought you to uh, Guildford? Life. What, looking for a job or what? Um, yes, I did work when I was here, when I first came here. But that's a long time ago. Okay. Anyway, Have a nice day. Thank you. A nice living. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Here is Radio Gilla, Guildford Hospital, of Abbott Hospital.